Hey friends, welcome to day 3 of this series of 20 days of Kronos configuration where you're going to learn about how to create payrolls right from scratch. Today we're going to learn about shift guarantees. Prior to that, if you're new and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, click on the bell button so that you get notified for my upcoming videos. Let's get started. Day 3, shift guarantees. Let's see what is in store for us. We're going to see what are shift guarantees, how does it impact an employee's time, and how to configure shift guarantee in the application. And once you configure, it's important we test it. So we're going to test the configuration as well. So what are shift guarantees and how does it impact an employee? Most of the organizations, um, maybe depending on the labor laws or companies policies they may be required to pay an employee certain amount of uh, hours or fixed amount of hours if they're working on a specific day for example it could be a labor law in your country that if you're working on a public holiday doesn't matter how how many hours you work even if you work for 30 minutes, you should be getting at least four hours, even if, even if you're working for 30 minutes. Likewise, it could also be uh, maybe a company policy where if an employee is working on a Saturday or Sunday or on a weekend, there is a fixed amount of time that you are supposed to pay that employee for working on a weekend. It could be two hours or three hours. It doesn't matter how, what is, the least amount of time that the employee is working. It could be one hour, but shift guarantee would be three hours or it could be four hours based on whatever you set up. So shift guarantee is depending on the, the, the country where you are in, the labor laws and your organization policies. If there is a policy or if there is a labor law, then you have to abide by it and you have to pay a fixed amount of hours or a shift guarantee for working, especially on a public holiday and on weekends. So whenever an employee works um, for even for one hour or 30 minutes, they get four hours or three hours, whatever you set it up in the system. So it does impact the employee's pay and uh, you might have to pay them double or you might pay them a time and a half based on the pay code that gets generated for working the uh, working during the shift guaranteed hours. It's important to understand that um, how do we set this up in the system? So let's go right into the system and see how we can set it up. In order to set up the shift guarantee, you need to be on the setup, click on pay policies, and right here under the work rule building blocks, you will see shift guarantees. Yesterday, we've seen how to create the rounding rules, interval round rule and punch round rule. And today we're gonna to start with the shift guarantee. And if you have any questions, comments, or clarification about what we are going to see today or for any of the topics that we've covered, please put that down in the comment section. I'm gonna click on shift guarantee and click on new. The first thing that you see is the name. It's important to give a unique name for the shift guarantee. And then you see the days of the week. As I said, it could be a, a labor law or a company policy that you might have to abide by with for working on any day. There could be a shift guarantee or a fixed amount of hours that you might have to pay the employee. Typically what I've seen is it, it is the weekends like Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to select Saturday and Sunday and I'm going to give four hours on both Saturday and Sunday, assuming that if your employer has a policy where, wherein uh, if employee works on a Saturday or Sunday, they get a shift guarantee of four hours. Now, when I say four hours, that would mean that if the employee works for less than four hours, they get four hours. Even if it is 30 minutes, by default, they're going to get the shift guaranteed amount, which is four hours. However, if they work for more than four hours, then they would get that much amount of time, five hours, six hours, whatever time they work beyond these four hours. 
and then you also have reduced by amount that is nothing but um, if you give a shift guarantee on Monday to Friday assuming Monday to Friday is your scheduled time then if you are late then you can also reduce the amount by the amount of uh, amount you are late for that particular day again it's going to work only if it's a, on a weekday but not on a weekend because on weekend you do not have any schedules assigned typically i haven't used uh, any of these options that you see here uh, the most common one that you will come across is just give the shift guaranteed amount on the day when you are supposed to uh, have those shift guarantee i'm going to just select um, four okay let me just change this to two so you can see the difference. I'm going to say two hours on Saturday and four hours on Sunday and give a name. Saturday, two, Sunday, four, and click on save and return. So you can see it's pretty simple to create a shift guarantee. Once you click, there you go. And then you need to assign that to your employee. But before I do that, let me actually show you how it is without a shift guarantee. So if I come at eight in the morning and leave at nine, you can see the total is one hour, right? Now I'm going to assign the shift guarantee to the same employee. And now let's check what happens. Refresh. And I'm going to put the same punches. At times, if the refresh doesn't work, then you may have to log off and log in back. But here in this case, we don't have to. And you can see that uh, the shift total, or the daily total for that day, though I have worked only for one hour, it is four hours that I'm getting. So that is how the shift guarantee works. Again, on a Saturday, if you remember, I gave two, two hours. So the minimum that I'm going to get on a Saturday should be two hours. Let's check that out. There you go. Now, two hours and four hours, I gave it as an example, but it could be something different for based on your organization or the country that you're working in, depending on the labor laws or your company policies. So creating a shift guarantee is pretty simple. Um, you need to define the, the time in the, the, the correct building block, assign it to the employee, and test it whether it's working well or not. So I hope you are clear with how to create a shift guarantee and how you can assign and test it. If you have any questions, comments, or clarifications, put that down in the comment section, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.